What's going on guys? John Elder here from Codemy.com and in this video, we're going to talk about an update to Django that may affect our blog. Alright guys, like I said in this video, we're going to talk about a recent update to Django that may or may not affect our blog. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out Codemy.com where I have dozens of courses with hundreds of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off membership. That's all my courses, videos, and books for one time fee at just $49, which is insanely cheap. Okay, so a couple of updates. We're still remodeling the office, so this video may look and sound a little off. Uh, bear with us. We should have it hammered out, you know, probably by next week or so, next few days. Also, I know I haven't done a Django blog update in quite a while. I've been super swamped with all kinds of crazy things. Hopefully, we'll get back to it pretty soon. Uh, again, just sorry. You're going to have to bear with me. On that. So in this video, I want to talk about a recent update to Django that may or may not affect our blog. So if you started this blog project way back when we started, you're fine. You've got an old version of Django that is running just fine. If you watch these videos like today for the first time and you started building this thing, you might come in, you might come across some errors with the static files. So one way we can just determine right away, let's head over to our terminal and let me break out of here. Let's just pip freeze and see what version of Django we have. So in our project here, we're working with Django 3.0.5. That one's fine. So anything below version 3.1, you're going to be fine. You don't have to make any changes. You don't have to do anything at all. Like I said, though, if you just started this project and you installed Django, it's going to install Django version 3.1 right at the beginning when you pip install Django, right? Unless you go like dash dash 3.0.5, then it will install version 3.0.5. Otherwise, it'll just install the latest version, which is 3.1, right? So why do we care? Well, let's head over to our code and take a look. And if we come to our, let's see, a blog and settings, this is our settings.py file. And we notice right here, it says import OS, right? That's normal for older versions. Well, the new version of Django, version 3.1 and above, gets rid of that. And instead, you're gonna see some weird thing about path, right? So we don't really care about that, except for just sort of realize down here at the bottom, when we defined our static files, notice we're using this OS thing. Well, the new versions of Django use something called path, and it takes all of this right here will be completely different code, unless you just come up to the top of your settings.py file and type in import OS. Like I said, the old versions already have it, the new versions of Django do not. But OS is a part of Python, it's already there. You don't have to install it or anything, you can just reference it in your settings.py file by, by typing in this line. If you do that, everything will work fine, right? This thing will work fine because it says OS there. Down here at the bottom, our static files will work, will work fine because it says OS and everything will be fine. So if you're watching this after, let's say, August 2020, you're going to have to come to your settings.py file and add this import OS to the top of your file. That's all there is to it. Then nothing else changes and you're good to go. Go ahead and save this. If you're running your server at the time, restart it because you're going to have to restart it for this to take effect. And then everything just should work fine. Now, in our project here, if we head over to, let's see, members, no, let's see, static. Yeah, you'll notice we have this default image that we're using as a static file. So our blog does use static files, so we need to make sure that we've got this import OS at the top of our settings.py file. So it all comes down to basically whether you're using an old version or a new version, Make sure you have this import OS line at the top of your settings.py file. If you don't see it there, put it there. If you do see it there, you're good to go. So that's all. So just a very short video just to get this out there. So, you know, people are starting this project for the first time and they're sending me messages going, hey, the static files don't work anymore. This is an easy way to fix it. And uh, that's all there is to it. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm. And check out Konami.com where you can use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off membership. So pay just $49 to access all my courses, over 45 courses, hundreds of videos, and the PDFs of all my best-selling coding books. Join over 100,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from Konami.com, and I'll see you in the next video.